Hi, I'm Dr. Pamela Maragliano Muniz. I'm the editorial director for Pearls for Your Practice, part of the Product Navigator newsletter for DentistryIQ.com. I'm here in Cologne, Germany at IDS, and what an event this is. I'm here with Sean from Solvay Dental 360, and we're here to talk about these little tooth colored removable partial denture frameworks. So thank you for having me. Thank you. So tell me, what's happening here? So this is Altair AKP. This is Solvay's first entry into the dental device market. And our first product is Altair AKP for removable partial dentures. So this is really an option for metal replacement for um, retention and strength that is similar to metal, but comfort that is really unique to the Altair AKP. This is exciting. So I know as a prosthodontist, I get a little concerned about not being able to have rest seats on my RPD frameworks, especially in removable partial dentures that are metal free. I see that there's rests here. Yeah, absolutely. So this material, the properties of this material really enable you to do things on the design side that typically aren't available for polymers. Rests are one of the most important pieces of that. So you can really have a tooth borne partial as opposed to a tissue borne partial. That's excellent because we know that that will positively impact periodontal health. Wow. So I know that only about 2% of dentists really design their RPD frameworks. So is this going to create more work for the dentist? No, we don't think so. It really is something that is sold to the dental lab and it's enabled through the digital workflow to the dental lab. Um, so the lab will receive the impression or in some cases perhaps in a scan from the dentist they will use CAD, um, 3Shape, ExoCAD, Dental Wings, maybe Serona, to design the partial, and then they use their CAM software and their milling equipment on site to mill it. It comes out of a disc that is um, 98 millimeters in diameter, comes straight out looking like this, and all that is required is to take the edges off, and then it can go straight to try in. So it actually fits into the workflow that the dentist is already accustomed to. Wow, so I have the ability to make my impression the way I normally do, exactly. or if I were a digital dentist, this would just fit perfectly into Fits my perfectly. digital workflow that exactly. I'm currently using. Wow, it looks also very smooth. Can you tell me about the polishability of it? It, it polishes up very nicely. So what we have, most people will do is, when it goes to try in, it comes straight out of the disc, and then when they put the acrylic on it, they'll just polish it up while they're polishing up the acrylic and it can get a mirror-like finish. So it's very nice and smooth, it feels good in the mouth and uh, it feels good against the tongue as well. It sounds like it would also repel bacteria pretty nicely. We believe it can. So we have um, a nice biofilm study going comparing it to materials that are currently used today and in the coming months we'll be communicating that to the market. Wow, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, we're excited about it. Yeah, I can imagine. So. If I were going to design this with your CAD software, I'm able to identify my undercuts and if I have proper guide planes and everything? Exactly. So our labs go through a qualification process where they learn to design the product. It's a series of e-learning modules and then there is a design iteration. When they've completed that qualification process, they are able to, um, excuse me, when they've completed the e-learning modules, they're able to download a file that helps guide the CAD process. And it has all the properties for the materials that helps make sure that they get the right parameters. One property that most prosthodontists look for in their removable partial dentures is a material that's relatively rigid. I can see here that this material doesn't really flex very much. No, it doesn't, but we actually believe it flexes just the right amount. So Solvay has in their high performance polymer portfolio 35 different chemistries. So when we came into this space, we looked at the requirements for the market. We looked what metal was doing well and what it really, we were perceiving that it wasn't doing so well. So we believe that these properties will work in concert with the patient's mouth instead of trying to take over for it. That's exciting. I also see that these rests are a little bit wider and then they taper and they're tooth colored. So it looks like that aesthetically this would be a pleasing material for a patient as well. And we believe so and our patients that have tried it so far absolutely love it. We've literally had patients crying when they put it in their mouth. And these are patients that are experienced wearers of the metal RPDs and for one reason or another were having issues with it. And now when they put these materials in, they smile and the lightness is there. It's so much lighter weight than the metal is. It fits better and then their, their smile doesn't have the metal look to it as well. So it's, it's really had some strong impacts with, with our patients and we're excited about that. So this looks like a really interesting, exciting material that I know I would like to try. So 
I would think though, it, as a new material for me, that I would need some sort of training or something how to properly handle this material. Right, so we work with the dental labs and we provide marketing and education support for them so that they can talk with their dentists and then also for the dentist to be able to talk with their patients. Also, solvedental360.com is a great resource, it has a lab finder tool on it as well. And uh, a big part of our value proposition in this space is that we're not just selling a disc or not just selling the polymer. It is the whole education and support that we provide that really differentiates us in this marketplace, we believe. Wow, so you will provide the product, educate the dental lab, educate the dentist, make it possible for dentists to find the lab, and also provide education that we can ultimately give to our patients. Exactly. Wow, sounds like the whole package. Well, thank you so much for your time and teaching me about this amazing new product. Thank you.